And now on to creating our actual collection. So I can remove these dummy files that were just used for testing if our scripts worked. So our collection is called location and collection first is defined by an interface called a location. A just a value model interface that specifies all the properties that are used in a collection. But the actual validation is done elsewhere. So location type is an enum type. And I like to write my enums with all cups. And no, let's keep it like a known. Okay. Uh, 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 you perform groups. Okay. The GeoJSON field, it's called the geometry. Type is needed because it can be a point, but it can also be a polygon. Point is defined by its two coordinates, latitude and longitude. And in the GeoJSON specification, longitude comes first. I know it's not intuitive, but it's the rule. Okay. And now define a schema. And schema is called the locations schema. Okay, and the location schema is defined by a location interface. And now on to defining the types. Of properties. This is how I define enum fields and as for geometry, it's a longer definition. So type is string. And it's a required field. Coordinates are of type number. Uh, this index you need to define if you're doing geospatial queries. Uh, MongoDB won't allow any geospatial queries if to this sphere is not defined on a field. And since we're using, since I'm using a latitude and a longitude, I want to add an additional validation that will soon test. So
is not a number. I have to be provided a number when specifying coordinates and if I don't get a number I want this message to be shown. Okay. One more rule is that longitude can be in the range of minus 180 to plus 180. And as for latitude goes, it can be in the range of minus 90 to plus 90. And the last property is a self-referencing property. So it will contain an ID of the parent. Okay. And lastly, I want to export default collection, so it will be called location. Location schema, but that's not enough because if this schema is already compiled into a model, you will get an error. For instance, if you're using uh, cached uh, mongoose collections, and I suggest you do so, because if you don't cache your collections, you might uh, get exponentially growing uh, connections in time. It doesn't matter if you close the connection or not, but uh, for instance, if you're running a REST API, let's imagine your user uh, refreshes a dozen times in a second, then you will get more and more connections in time. So if the schema is already compiled, it's compiled in models namespace, and it will be compiled as a model, or if it's not, short circuit to compiling a schema and exporting it as a default. So now on to location validation, location validate. So scenario will be called as a location validation and scenario will have a few test cases. By the way, I love this behavior driven uh, by the way, I love this behavior driven structure. And it's really readable to write a test like this in Vigest. So let's say that location should be invalid if properties are not defined. Hmm. 
Why did I say it's an ASIC? There is nothing else in here. So location is I see how uh, I just uh, recognized our source directory uh, aliasing. It already knows how to import, so it's cool. And let's see what the validation says about this property. Uh, I, if I call the save, it would, uh, under the hood, call the validate sync. Uh, Mongoose has a middleware, validation middleware, that's set to be run on every project pre-save. So if any of the properties fail, uh, if uh, any of the properties fail, Mongoose uh, doesn't save the object and returns an error. You uh, might... You might want to uh, you might want to disable the validate before save. So if you want to disable the validation, just state this flag to false, and it won't run a validation hook. But I don't see the point in disabling this. And if you want to explicitly call validation, you would call validate sync. So what the error says, error has a message and message is validation, validation failed because geometry is required. Let's see what it says. Okay, it's rather cleaner. Location is also valid if null coordinates. So No coordinates. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Then we run all of these tests. Let's see what we have here when we run all of these tests. Okay. It passes and I can commit so we deleted these dummy files, defined our schema and added validation tests. So let's call it add schema. 